Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, this is going to be a head to toe strength workout. We're gonna take each exercise, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between, and I'm gonna kind of run through the body. I'm gonna start, basically, do the whole front side of the body, then the whole back side, then the whole front side, whole back side. All right, no repeat is the format today, so just once at each exercise, be sure to lift as heavy as you can. I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down, and be sure to grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. I'll be up and down off the ground as well, but you could use a bench if you wish. Okay, this is gonna be a great little strength workout. Are you ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. Traditional strength on my watch. Now let's warm things up here with some hip openers to start. And into some side to side lunges, drop that shoulder toward the opposite knee. Toes, warming hamstrings up. Nice. Some heel sweeps right here and alternate sides. one here. Let's reach across and tap. Up and over. And circles in the arms. Switch direction. One hand behind the head, one behind the back. Switch. That one side is tight right there. one here and some front kicks right here for 10 aside switch your side off here and we'll get to going. All right, there is the first set and here we go. Okay, I'm starting with eight pound dumbbells. I'm gonna do a 180 rotation for the front shoulders. So you're gonna come up, you're gonna turn at the top, down and turn at the bottom. All right, chest up and out. So you're up, turn 180, down, turn 
I'll grab those 15s for my uh, pinwheel curls for the biceps. These are soft, shoulders back. Cross in front of the body, palm faces the ceiling. Let's lift right here and switch. Keep your wrist locked in neutral. Taking my 20s down to the ground for my wide, narrow chest press. All right, I'm gonna take this into a glute bridge. So hips are up, start wide, turn narrow, and press over the chest. Good, hips are up, squeezing those glutes. Stay down here for your abs. We'll go into that pistol crunch. So hands right here. You can put one leg on the ground if you need. Otherwise, both legs up. I'll call half, we'll switch the leg. And crunch right here. And here, lift your chest up to the ceiling. One more here, switch sides. Standing up for my front lunges, I'm gonna fold 15s. Alternating that lunge. All right, quads are the focus. Put your mind in your quad muscles. And lunge right here and switch. into that tibialis raise. If you don't have a wall to lean against, simply lift your toes in this standing position here. Otherwise, leaning against a wall, feet half a foot out and lift the toes up. Good, and up. We're working that shin muscle, tibialis anterior. We rarely do it, but it's so important to support the whole leg and, all, and just improve knee health as well. If you find that knees are starting to cause you some grief, do this really regularly. It's hard. You can make it more challenging by walking the feet out, easier by walking toward the wall. E, already that's fire. We're gonna go into a single leg calf raise here coming up. 
All right, you could do this holding dumbbells. I'm gonna go against the wall, walk my feet way out, tap my other leg behind, and press toward the ceiling. Ready, and press right here, you're up. And all the way down, so you wanna go as high as you can, and then down to the ground. I will call half. We're putting our whole body weight on one calf. That is good, equal to holding heavy weights in the hand. Switch your leg. into some deadlifts. I'll hold those 20s. All right, we're gonna do a sumo deadlift. So slight squat, hinge forward at the waist. Knees are soft, even bent here. And we hinge, two, three, power up. Slow, two, three, back is flat. All right, into reverse lunges. I'll hold those 15s. And I'm gonna stay on the same leg with a high knee until I call half. Super tall and low a knee. Good, all right, work in those glutes. Last one on this side. Switch your leg. Okay, wide and narrow rows. A whole 15s, we're gonna hinge at the waist, roll pumps facing, and then we'll turn at the bottom and pull wide. Wide and narrow, so we pull, turn and wide. Narrow, turn and wide. into triceps. I'm gonna take my 12s to the ground. And we'll hit a tricep press, overhead extension, palms facing each other. Here we go, press it to the ceiling, back of the elbow, ceiling, down to the ground. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Kissing under street lights, doing what we want to, doing what we need to do, staying up all night. Everything is all right. Oh, I wanna be with you. Oh, I wanna be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your hand. I don't even know if you can understand how you make me feel. I got you in my head.
Up for your reverse flies, hitting that rear delt or back shoulder now. I'll grab tens, hinging forward at the waist. Super flat back, retract the shoulder blades, rounded arms, and up and squeeze. Don't bob the body. Seconds. Then I'm going to give you a little water rest. And we'll move on to the front of the body again. Nice. Okay. Water break. Pause if you need a longer rest. We're moving back to our shoulders. I'm gonna do a front lateral combo, so at least we get a little bit of lateral. It's on the side of the body, how do you target that? Okay, to the side, then to the front, knees are soft. You're here, up and down. Good. I've got eights. We're coming up slightly for that front part. back to chest and I'll be back down on the ground for my circle chest press. I've got those 20s and I'll hit that bridge again. Okay, so hips are up into bridge. Create a circle with the dumbbells. Up and over the chest and down. Good. All right, stay down here for abs. We're gonna go into the flutter, uh, sorry, scissor kick, scissors. So feet are nice and low to the ground, hands under the bottom, scissor here. Let's go. All right, you can always lift it up a little higher to support the lower back. You can put your head down on the ground or lift chin to chest, whatever works for you. Nice work, 10 seconds, let's go. Standing up for your front squat, coming up. I'll hold those 20s. Okay, up we get. We'll rack it in the front. We're gonna drop it nice and low, feet shoulder width apart. Core engaged. Flex the quads at the top.
Okay, into your standing calf raise again. This time I'm going to do both at the same time. I'll hold 15s. Up to tiptoes. Here we go, you lift and lift. Rapid fire here. There are only so many tibialis exercises. <laughs> um, there are more you can do with dumbbells in a seated position. You know, flexing the feet with the dumbbell between your toes, but it's too convoluted to get into that position here. So, again, hit those tibialis raises intermittently throughout your day, they're good. Static lunge, front hinge, deadlift hinge. We'll do 45 seconds per leg here. So hold your dumbbells here. We'll lunge, then we'll hinge into that deadlift for hamstrings. Drop it low, down, up, hinge right here, super flat back. Up and hinge, good. Be slow and controlled here. Again, you've got a full 45 on each side. Switching legs, I'll just put it right here. A little pelvic tilt, lunge and hinge, and we drop. You're here, up, hinge, flat back. Okay, either grab a heavier weight. I'm gonna just put these two 15s on my pelvis here for my glute thrust. All right, feet are shoulder width apart, pulse at the top. You're up, pulse and drop. Up, squeeze, down. Stay down here for some lower back. All right, we're gonna go into that Superman, okay, from your stomach. Lift the shoulders, chest up off the ground. You can lift the legs off as well. Here we go. So you're up and pause, down relax. Up and pause, down relax. Leave the legs on the ground if you need. A little pause.
Stay down here for your renegade row. I'll hold those 15s. Okay, alternating rows. Plank position. You could stand and do this if you wish, or mod from the knees like this. Otherwise, row to the hip and pull. Switch and pull. Don't rock the body. Eyes, Y's, and T's. I'm gonna hold my fives for this. Go to the letter, letter I, then Y, then T. We're engaged, hinge at the waist. Letter I right here. Up, into Y, up, up, into T. There, good. Nice little trap. Uh, and rear delt exercise here. Triceps here, skull crusher, uh, I'll hold my 20, rest as you need, pop back when you're ready, elbows close to the ears, press and flex. Mm, there we go. All right, going into my palms up bicep curl. I'm gonna do that lower range of motion for half of it, then the upper for the other half. So coming up to 90 degrees. Here we go, and you're 90 degrees there. And up, just a partial curl. And then we'll hit that top end. It's a nice way to keep a nice pump and tension on the muscle without reprieve. It's hard, actually. Three, two, all the way to the top now. Halfway down. Boom, right there. Stop at half. All right, finishing off with just a few more ab exercises. Into that bicycle on your back right here and work right here, reach and reach.
and rest into your flutter kick. Again, hands can be under your bottom, straight leg right here. <sighs> Ready? Let's work and we flutter and flutter. Good. Last ab, flip it over into plank, into that hip drop. You can mod by just holding the plank from your knees if you wish. Otherwise, side to side from the forearms. Last exercise, we dip and dip. Last 10 seconds. Stay with me. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your head to toe strength workout. Nice work everyone. Join me on the ground for a stretch if you can. Don't forget to smash that like button. All right, bring it down to the ground here. Let's start with a straight leg hamstring stretch. Soften that knee, draw your knee toward your chest. Oh, very good. Oh, she needs a good stretch, folks. <laughs> oh, I've been, I went on a long hike yesterday and bike ride the day before that, and then a bike ride today. It's nice still here in Kelowna, switch sides, and I'm trying to maximize my time outside, you know? But it does mean that I am sore. <laughs> Actually, my hip is sore. It has been sore for a long time, but I'll tell you what happened. Feet on the ground, knees fall to one side. The dog was sick. I think maybe she got a, a parasite or a virus from her cousin, which is also a dog. And because she was sick and had, you know, anyway, I won't go into it, but sick for about five days and so needy. So she wanted to be held. And she's a chihuahua, so it's easy to hold, but. Normally I stand all day at my desk. I have a standing desk. And just to help her feel better, I would just wrap her in a blanket and sit with her and edit and do my work at the computer. So I sat so much more this week and boy, I could just tell the difference on my one hip, which is really too bad. Let's stretch it all out, tip to toe, big reach like that, take a deep breath in, and then grab your knees and hug them here. Little circles on the back. Yeah, I haven't sat for a long time. And typically if I go for like a long haul car ride, you know, to Vancouver and sit for four hours, I feel my hip soreness. I have like a calcified tendon in there, but it tends not to bother me too much when I stand. And now I've sit the dog, I had to sit because she was clawing at my leg wanting to be held. <laughs> anyway, it just reminds me that there's still work to do to help that hip heal, right? Because as I age, I'm not gonna be standing all day, every day. Well, maybe, hopefully I'll be standing as much as possible, but you know, I, I just wanna make sure that as I go into my older age, that the things that hurt me today, I take care of. Because if we don't do anything to better those, improve flexibility, stability, mobility, it's not gonna be available to you in 20 years from now, I'll tell you that. So. We have to be diligent about those. And that's the thing that's hard sometimes. It's like the things that aren't fun to do, um, they're just tedious and they take commitment and they take work. 
And we'd rather do the things that are fun to do, maybe like a workout, right? As opposed to the stretching and the mobility work. But it really does pay off in the end if we can commit a portion of our day to doing those things. Uh, it's like that with my work day as well. I do all the things that I enjoy doing first, and then I look at my long list of things that I don't enjoy doing, and I you know, procrastinate from that. And you, I mean, you've probably heard people say that successful people do those things that are the most challenging first, when they have that most brain power, when they have the most drive and determination, get it out of the way, and then it really does feel better. So maybe that's what we do before a workout. I just come down, work a little bit on my hip mobility exercises. They're underway, they're out of the way, and then I can do the things I enjoy more. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be my plan. I just talked myself right into it, perfect. All right, folks, thanks for joining in this sweaty little workout. I hope that you continue moving daily with me, and I will see you in the next workout.